everyone i am dr shri vanilla today's topic is rickets rickets is a clinical disorder seen in children due to deficiency of vitamin d it is derived from the old english word ricken which means to twist it is seen in growing children from 6 months to 2 years of age pathogenesis the pathogenic mechanism of rickets is interference with mineralization of bone deranged endochondral and intramembranous bone growth the deranged ossification occurs as follows endochondral ossification in long tubular bones proliferation of cartilage cells at the epiphysis followed by inadequate provisional mineralization persistence and overgrowth of of epiphyseal cartilage deposition of osteoid matrix on inadequately mineralized cartilage resulting in enlarged and expanded costochondral junction deformed bones due to lack of structural rigidity irregular overgrowth of small blood vessels in disorganized and weak bone intramembranous ossification in flat bones Mesenchymal cells differentiate into osteoblasts with laying down of osteoid matrix which fails to get mineralized resulting in soft and weak flat bones. Clinical features: skeletal changes. Cranial tapes is the earliest bony lesion occurring due to small round unossified areas in the membranous bones of the skull disappearing within 12 months of bone. The skull looks square and box like. Harrison sulcus appears due to indrawing of soft ribs on inspiration. Rachitic rosary is a deformity of chest due to cartilaginous overgrowth at costochondral junction. Pigeon chest deformity is the anterior protrusion of sternum due to action of respiratory muscles. Bow legs occur in ambulatory children due to weak bones of lower legs. Knock knees due to enlarged ends of femur. tibia and fibula lower epiphysis of radius may be enlarged lumbar lordosis due to involvement of spine and pelvis laboratory diagnosis biochemical changes low levels of 25 hydroxy vitamin d and 1 to 5 hydroxy vitamin d active metabolites of vitamin d normal or slightly low plasma calcium levels low plasma phosphate phosphatase levels raised plasma alkaline phosphatase due to osteoblastic activity thank you everyone hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe